from a windy day in Germany that forced several planes to abort their landings, and an Air Force Osprey running training flights through Wales, to the shocking moment a stunt plane nearly crashes at an air show, and two pilots landing at the most dangerous airport in the world. Here are some of the most incredible aviation moments caught on camera. On March 10th of 2019, a powerful winter storm named Eberhard tore through Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany. Gale force winds upwards of 75 miles per hour caused widespread chaos as trees came crashing down and long distance trains were forced to stop running. Perhaps someone should have called Dusseldorf Airport too. A Cessna Citation Sovereign, an American-made business jet, came in for a rocky landing as 75 mile per hour crosswinds battered the plane. Footage from the ground captured the scary landing. With the larger plane coming in behind them, the pilot decides to veer off the runway, hoping the grass will slow the aircraft. Elsewhere at Dusseldorf, another small plane aborts several landings as the wind never lets up. Plane after plane tries to land, but the wind makes it borderline impossible. Instead of risking a crash, the pilots pull up to abort the landing. It's safer to circle back and try again. Eberhard left its mark across Germany that day. A village in the east was completely closed off from society as fallen trees blocked all the main roads. The wind knocked over a dockside loading crane, causing it to topple into the Rhine River. Thankfully, nobody was in the cabin when it fell. The zoo and other tourist attractions were forced to close in Dortmund and Essen, and emergency workers in Bavaria reported 900 storm-related incidents. Sadly, one man in northwestern Germany lost his life when a tree fell on his car. Now, if you've ever seen a plane perform a low pass, then you know just how exciting it can be. Take this Cessna, for example, just missing the cameraman. But when it comes to military-grade aircraft, there is one place in particular that comes to mind. A place known for some impressive shows. Known as the Mock Loop, this network of valleys in west-central Wales provides the perfect low-altitude training course for high-speed planes. On June 20th of 2019, an enthusiast was lucky enough to film a United States Air Force Osprey completing its training run through the Mach Loop. Now, you've probably seen these crafts in whatever Call of Duty game you're playing, but watching them in real life is a thing of pure beauty. There's something odd about watching this war machine fly through the picturesque English landscape. Our camera operator snaps as many pictures as they can as the Osprey flies by, and you can tell how fast it's going once it gets closer. Eventually, it disappears behind the mountain. Hopefully, it circles back around. According to the US Air Force, Ospreys are meant for long-range infiltration, exfiltration, and special forces resupply missions. It's a tilt-rotor aircraft that can land and take off like a helicopter while flying like a jet. They can carry over 50 personnel between the seats and cargo bed and haul 10,000 pounds of supplies. There's also a 50 caliber mounted machine gun on the loading ramp. You know, just in case. Oh, and uh, the price tag for one of these things? About $90 million.
On a seemingly normal day in November of 2019, a Philippine Airlines flight took off from LAX en route to the Filipino capital of Manila. But moments after takeoff, passengers heard strange sounds coming from the right engine. While sitting on the left side, a woman recorded out the window as the plane took off from the runway. Then, their worst fears became a reality. The plane takes off, but only a few seconds pass before we hear a banging sound coming from the other side. They're not dumb, they know that doesn't sound good. Whatever it is, it's shaking the whole plane. Then someone says the last thing anyone wants to hear. There's a fire. People stand and look out the window, and our couple can't see anything from their seats. For a fire in the right engine, everyone remains surprisingly calm. According to our camera woman, the pilot and crew did an excellent job of keeping everyone calm. They knew what was happening and said the plane was turning around to land. She said most people silently prayed as it happened, since the plane was full of Catholic Filipinos. Unfortunately, one woman and her partner passed out and needed medical attention once the plane landed. As for the rebooking process, our camera woman called it frustrating. Airline officials blamed it on a technical problem with the right engine. Regular acrobats are impressive enough. Aerial acrobats, however, are in a whole other league. These death-defying stuntmen and women can pull off some insane moves in the air. Moves that normal people like us would never dream of. On May 1st of 2016, during the Najifu Tam in Budapest, Hungary, three stunt pilots set out to break a world record. Sources aren't totally clear regarding what record they were trying to break. Perhaps it was most planes flown under a bridge at one time. Let's see if they got it. Our pilots approach the Sechinia Chain Bridge stretching over the Danube River. An announcer talks to the crowd, perhaps explaining the record they're trying to break as the pilots remain in tight formation. But something seems wrong with the plane on our right, their left, like it's warbling up and down as they're several feet above the water. As soon as they clear the bridge, the warbling plane dips into the water, and you can hear a collective shock permeate through the crowd. Thankfully, the pilot recovers and rejoins the formation to finish the show. In slow motion, you can see just how close he came to catastrophe. The bridge played a vital role in Hungarian society. It was the first permanent bridge across the Danube River, connecting the west and east sides of the city, also known as Buda and Pest. In 2001, a Hungarian stunt pilot named Peter Besenier became the first person to fly upside down under the bridge. According to the Daily Mail, the stunt is a common maneuver in modern Red Bull air races. When you climb Mount Everest, you don't just start from the bottom and start walking. 
Instead, you start from one of two base camps on the north or south sides of the mountain. The north base camp is in Tibet, just under 17,000 feet above sea level. Meanwhile, the south base camp is in Nepal, just over 17,500 feet up. Between the two, the south side is the more popular route up the mountain. Most trekkers fly into Tenzing Hillary Airport in Lukla, Tibet to reach the south base camp. Considered the most dangerous airport in the world, Tenzing Hillary is situated 9,000 feet above sea level. It clearly takes a skilled pilot to land safely on the 1,700-foot runway. Our pilots approach the runway on a clear April day. It looks so small from far away, so imagine the precision required to land safely every time. One wrong calculation and they could slam into the Himalayas. The wheels touch down and the plane bounces slightly. But all in all, it's another perfect landing for these pilots. From the facility, we get an amazing shot of the plane landing and turning into the parking lot. The airport was built in 1964 after Sir Edmund Hillary, aka the first guy to climb Everest, bought the land from local Sherpas. It was renamed in 2008 to also honor Tenzing Norgay, the Sherpa who helped Hillary up the mountain in 1953. Hurricane Fiona was the first major storm of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Where most storms smash into Florida, Fiona traveled north up the Atlantic Ocean, striking eastern Canada on September 24th. Getting data on these storms is dangerous work, and that's where the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron out of Keesler Air Force Base comes in. They're nicknamed the Hurricane Hunters, and for good reason. These brave souls fly into the eye of the storm and send crucial data back home to the National Hurricane Center in Miami. In September of 2022, the hurricane hunters flew into Fiona as she passed the U.S. Virgin Islands. The hunters fly into the eye as rain pelts their WC-130J Super Hercules aircraft. It looks like clear skies when they make it out, but we believe they're flying above the storm to gather atmospheric data. We get a more ominous shot as the plane nears Fiona's eye once again. You can see the circular patterns in the clouds, and a shot of the radar inside tells us everything we need to know. The hurricane hunters began on a dare in 1943 when two Army Air Corps pilots drunkenly challenged each other to fly through a hurricane. Major Joe Duckworth became the first person to fly through a storm on July 27th of 1943 and his flight paved the way for how we track hurricanes today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.